Welcome to the Wi-Fi Pineapple tutorial series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the module SSL Split. We're taking a look at the SSL Split module. So the first thing that you'll want to make sure is that you've got a hooked client. I'm of course going to hook my iPad. So I know that uh, this client is actually using my rogue access point that I'm offering up. From here, you're going to go down to SSL Split. You're going to start the service. And there's a, a handy log here that you can refresh in order to start seeing that uh, a check is done and that the service is running properly. You will also notice, if everything goes well, that you will have an additional history number here. And the history should give you a much deeper view into that log file. Now, if you would like to actually tail that file, what you can do is actually SSH into your pineapple and go to the following directory, pineapple modules SSL split logs. And then from there, you can just do a tail command. A couple of items that you may want to note there's a certificate that's associated with this module that will be presented to the end user. When they go to browse an HTTPS website, they will be presented with this warning. And if you look at the details of that certificate, you can see that it's for this particular module. Now, obviously you can change that certificate out uh, if you want to make it look more real. The other thing of note is in the configuration, these are the IP tables that are being set when this module is turned on. It is SSL split, which means it's going to rely on the downgrading of the protocol from HTTPS to HTTP. Realize that any kind of mitigation against this is going to mean that this module will not work. So if the website has HSTS or HTTP strict transport security in place, then uh, simply the user is presented with a message that says cannot display site. Otherwise, so long as your user actually does a trust on that certificate, you will be able to sniff all of the traffic. 